Okay, hey, so a lot of you guys have been asking for me to react to some of these cheating kind of videos. And, you know, I kind of put it off. I thought, nah, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I mean, I do watch it, but I don't ever react because who am I to be in a position to react? I'm not a pro at all. Uh, but I do play the game pretty regularly in terms of the Warzone game. And I do see what kind of looks sus and what doesn't look sus. But lately, something has crossed my path of a Cronus Zen ac accusation towards uh, DS Bivol. So, I'm going to take a look and see what the hell I think about it, you know, because I will be doing a pretty thorough review of Acronis Zen next week. And, yeah, it's going to be a very funny video as well as there's going to be some information about it. So, you guys don't want to miss that one. But let's go ahead and take a look. Let's jump right into it without further ado. And uh, let's take a look at it, shall we? So, this is actually a clip from Call of Shame. Credit goes to Call of Shame for this. Uh, he'll be in the description box below, linked in. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed to him yet, go ahead and do so. He's a great hunter hacker. Uh, he provides a lot of information, and uh, I really appreciate what he does for the community. So let's go ahead and take a look, and then see. And I'll, re I'll stop it and react, and let me know exactly what I think about it, and give you my honest opinion. All right, here we go. This guy never plays using a webcam and has no accountability. Okay, so he doesn't use a webcam. That's that's pretty susp. If you're not using a webcam, what exactly are you hiding? If you have watched any of my streams, there's a 99% chance my webcam is on. If it is not on, there's a reason because maybe there's a web that is not connected correctly or there's a software issue that is not enabling me to have the webcam on on OBS or something. But the 99% of the chance, it doesn't matter if I'm, in, if I'm in a tournament or if my team is in a tournament or if I'm just playing live streaming to my subscribers, my audience, my donators keyword donators um i would always have a webcam on to show you guys what's on the screen okay sometimes even multiple webcams all right uh sorry but a hand cam doesn't do anything it doesn't mean shit to me because a, a hand cam you can easily plug something in you can easily have software running in the background to help you enable you to cheat and f to let the computer do 99 percent of the work for you which means you have no skill and you suck and you're just basically getting credit out of fucking nothing so those kinds of people piss me the hell off anyways let's get further into it i'm i'm drifting off the subject now so let's get get into it but why does he outright refuse to play with any webcam that's a good question like why is he not playing with a webcam that's my question it's not like you know why why the hell if you're a professional you would want everything every tool at your exposure to to to, to show everybody that you're not cheating, like you're, you're, you're legit, you know? I don't understand some of these pros, man, or these so claim pros. Like why they don't just put a simple $20, $30 webcam on their freaking PC or their Xbox or their PlayStation. Like it really is cheap and it doesn't cost much money and it doesn't take much time. And it does actually show quite a bit, you know, in terms of wall hacks. So. Well, so he doesn't get caught doing things like this. He has been asked by Santana to play on his behalf. Look now, he clearly plugged something into his controller. Why the- Okay, I don't see anything yet. Uh, but I do see Faye Santana, who is- That guy, I don't know, man. Like, there's something up with him. And then, there's B DS Bivol in his bedroom, okay. And he's got his headset on, he's got his microphone in front of him. He's got- she got a webcam in front of him for once. Uh, but he doesn't have a webcam facing uh, the screens, the monitors, uh, w w w which is what he's been accused of quite often, actually. So let's go ahead and take a look at this clip. What the hell would you need to unplug and replug something in when it's already set for a controller? Okay, let's just scroll back a second. He he plugs something in. Please reconnect your controller or go to main menu to change for keyboard and mouse. Okay, so it was like... Okay, people, look. It it looks like it was set to keyboard and mouse. Okay, so he disconnected his controller. Re please reconnect your controller. Maybe he wanted to go... I'm not defending him now. But maybe he wanted to go wireless, Bluetooth, instead of having that massive cable connected, which is kind of a pain in the ass, you know? You know, this this is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, having a wire. But maybe he is plugging 
something in to help him, a third-party device to help him out with recoil or aimbot or who knows what he's got. Let's take a closer look. What? Do so he grabs something. Okay. Device is beautiful plugging in. Face and Tano's left the room, which is very suspicious at the same time as him plugging something in as if he doesn't want to be guilty by association or he just is simply taking a bathroom break. Who knows what's going on, you know? There's a lot of context that could be going on. Multiple perceptions can be going on at the same time as to what the hell is really happening in this clip, in this video. Many believe Biffle uses a Cronus to assist his terrible aiming. Let me know in the comments. Look, he hands Biffle the controller. Okay, so he hands him the controller. It is already plugged in. It's already plugged in. As Santana walks away, he clearly unplugs the cable and plugs something else in. Because it's goaded. He said because it's goaded. He unplugs something. Now, we've got this Voss water covering up some of the clip as well, which is pretty stupid. And then we've got the name of Faze and Tanner's crap, or Biffle's crap, covering up some stuff as well. I always put my Z Gamer above me. I don't never put it below me where my hands could be, okay? As you can see on your screen right now, Z Gamer is above, okay? So he definitely disconnected something and connected something. Absolute disgrace. Is it any? I mean, he might have been using something. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we would have to see further information, but you can't hard accuse someone of Cronus Zen or Cronus Max or any other third party cheap device, you know, without actually having to, without seeing it. That could have been literally anything plugged in, you know, or maybe he, he wanted to go Bluetooth and he just plugged it in and thought, ah, oh, screw it. It's got, it's low on battery. We might as well just keep the controller in you know i mean i don't know <sighs> you guys let me know what you think i mean if i disconnect my controller like look i mean i'm you know i've got a controller we disconnect it i mean yeah so you guys let me know what you think that's my opinion i think that literally could be anything that could be a cheat software that could be just plugging it in to charge the controller keep it charged or you want to go bluetooth you know, wanted to go wireless. I mean, that could go either way. This isn't hard evidence right here. So this clip can go either way. It's 50-50, okay? All right, that's, that's my honest opinion, what I think about it. If you guys would like me to do this more often, let me know in the comments as well. Um, you know, I can do that. I can just give you my honest opinion because I'm, I'm not very biased towards the cheaters and hackers. I look at the information, I see what they're doing, and then I'll give my assessment and my judgment. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you guys are new, subscribe if you would like the, an honest opinion. Uh, smash a like if you enjoyed me being honest and giving my opinion. And you just let me know in the comments what you think about the whole situation of the DS Biffle updated clip. And tonight we'll be doing a stream where I have to be protected, okay? And if I am not protected by my team, then everybody in the team loses $50 each. Pretty, pretty, yeah, not huge, but, yeah, you know, decent amount of loss. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be live streaming tonight, 6 p.m. Chicago, Illinois time. If you're curious about what time Mike Z Gamer will be streaming tonight. All right. And the Z Gamers. Because there's multiple Z Gamers out there now. All right. Peace out, people. I'll talk to you later.